What's going on, RC fans? My name is Cole, and yeah, it's, it's just me down here today. We got um, our friend Charlie's car. Um, I, I don't know, do you want to be in the video today, Charlie, or not? Yes. All right, well, he's, he's going to be telling you a little bit about his car, probably. Yeah, we both got the Slash. He's got the Slash 4x4 brushed, and I have the Slash 4x4 brushless. And yeah, let's get into this thing. So, mine is a VXL. Had it for six months probably now. And yeah, it's been pretty, pretty nice. I, I really enjoy it. Charlie just got his today. Two so, hours ago. Two hours ago, so you liking it so far? Yeah. Yep, he's, he's liking it so far, so that's good. So first off, we got the transmitters. Mine has the TQI. And then, so that's got like the TSM and all that jazz. Mine also has GoPro mount on it. Charlie's is just the TQ, but still a great transmitter. Works just fine for what you need it for. And yeah, basically that's that's the transmitters. All right, now to the bodies. Mine has a custom painted, got my number on there, white, stickers, sponsors, all that stuff. And Charlie's is just the stock body, but still looks pretty sweet, I gotta say. It's got blue, black, um, green. The other option was like orange. It was orange ugly. And, yeah, it is ugly. It looked like a fireball. Yep, so th this is obviously much, much cooler. I like those green rims though, those look pretty sweet. And number one, and looks, just some random stickers. It looks like I robbed them off a Frankenstein car. <sighs> yep. Also got the Shugu mod underneath with the drywall tape. All right, that's, that's pretty much the main difference with the bodies. And now let's get under the hood. All right, so starting off on the VXL, we got plastic shocks up front still. We got aluminum on the back. And um, yeah, we got aluminum on the back. Hopefully we get some aluminum for the front soon. We got a metal geared servo, just the Traxxas one out front because I stripped my other one. We got the fan on the ESC. We got the VXL motor and the 3S LiPo. Um, yeah, and then they got the waterproof box, all that. RPM Nerf bars, um, just got those. Extreme duty drive shafts on the front and the back. Um, what other upgrades have I done? That's mainly all the upgrades I've done so far. Charlie just got his today, so he hasn't really even had a chance to even drive it yet. I mean, he's driven it like two battery packs now, but hasn't broken anything, so that's that's all good. All right, moving over to this side, we got um, Titan 12 turn brushed motor, um, the XL5 ESC, the waterproof uh, box, plastic geared servo, which still works good as long as you don't strip it. And just plastic shocks, just, just a stock slash, but nothing wrong with that. Got the heavy duty drive shafts. Don't have the adjustable turnbuckle things yet, but those aren't really needed unless you break them. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's just two slashes. All right, here's a look at the charger setup for Charlie's car. Got the power adapter thing there. Then we have the standard NIM in the box charger. And we have a 3,000 milliamp, um, 8.4 volt battery. So that looks pretty good. Still charges. 